Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use uh, Google Sheets API to import the uh, uh, Google Sheet into a Pandas data frame. From the last video, we learned how to export a uh, uh, data frame to Google Sheets. So here's the, the data set that we exported from the data frame uh, to this uh, DF collections uh, Google Sheets. And now we want to do the reverse. So how can we um, uh, uh, import all these uh, records back to uh, data frame? So uh, here uh, I have a blank uh, Python script. And first I'm going to import my uh, query service uh, function. And next I'm going to import the pandas module. Let me go back to the uh, the the previous uh, script that we wrote. I just need to uh, copy the client secret file, API names, and version of those stuff and back to uh, this script. And let me just double check the uh, Google Sheets ID. And so I may have to uh, play around with it and create brand new uh, Google Sheets. Let me just double check. And okay, they look, uh, they look the same. Okay, great. I can just keep everything as it is. And for the scope, I'm going to do something different. So since we only need read-only access, I'm going to change the scopes from uh, spreadsheet to spreadsheet.read-only. And that will only request the read-only permission from the user. The next step is we need to create a service instance. So using the create service function, we need to provide a client secret file. Uh, API name and API version and the last thing is scopes all right and next I'm going to create a spreadsheets instance now let's go back to the Google Sheets and so let's, let me just take a look at how many uh, rows we have. We have 38,608 uh, rows. Uh, I'm actually going to delete some of the data. So I'm going to delete everything from 41 all the way down to the last row. Since I don't want to uh, import all the rows back to the uh, pen, uh, data frame. And that'll basically save some time. Mm, okay. And uh, leaves just 40 records, uh, 40 rows, not records, 40 rows. Okay. Now taking the uh, GS Google Sheet Spreadsheet instance, and here I'm going to do that value. And I'm going to actually uh, store the result to a rows uh, variable. So here I'll do. Uh, js dot values dot get and want to provide a spreadsheet ID which is uh, g sheets ID and for the range parameter all we need to provide is the washing name so here let me grab the washing name and the washing name is called test1 and dot execute And lastly, we need to um, only get the data. So I'll do um, rows get and that, uh, get value only. Because uh, when you execute this line right here, uh, this is going to return as a dictionary uh, record. And from the dictionary, there's a key, uh, there's a, a key name called value. And the value key contains uh, all the uh, rows information or data so from so by passing the uh, value key, you're actually passing all the uh, rows data into the data uh, variable. Now let's just run um, the batch by itself and to see what it looks like. So let me uh, just run the selection of code. And here I get an uh, error, rows is not defined. 
Oh, should be values. So she have a typo. Oh, should be values as well. Okay, now let me clear this and let me just run this one right here. And if I just do a uh, print, and the, this is what the, the rows variable looks like. So we have, let's see what keys we have. Oops. We have range, uh, measure dimension, and values. The, uh, the range key will give you cell reference address of your uh, data set. So if I just do a rows that range, oops, get uh, range. And this the uh, the cell reference address we are going to retrieve. And now uh, the last step is we need to create a data frame by passing the data variable to the PD data frame um, function. And here we will pass the data variable, and that's it. And I'll print the uh, data frame result. Now, if I save the script and run it. Oh, so here I made a typo. Sorry. And I forgot the close parenthesis. Let me try again. Okay, now this time, um, the script uh, executes successfully. So if we just take a look at the data set, and here we have quarter uh, area team code. Oops. Uh, and team name CCG code. And we have 40 uh, rows. So here we, have, we get uh, 40 rows and 12 columns. So yeah, so that's it. I'll post the Python script on my website and you can find the link in the description below. I hope the information is helpful. And if you found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.